Page 100, Theme by Mozart. Theme, a theme in music is a melody. Same difference. So this is like a melody by Mozart. Mozart wrote some melodies, okay. And this is, this melody is taken from one of his piano sonatas. I studied that sonata in college. I can't remember which one it is now. It's a beautiful piece. If you ever run across it, take the time to listen to it. They're covering at the top of the page the chords for G. We're, we're using the G pentascale because we were in C pentascale forever. But we did the C chord and the C sus4 chord. Remember the C sus4 where the middle note just goes up? Well, here we got the G and the G sus4. Same difference. It's G's the bottom note. G and the middle note goes up. It's a G sus4. Suspended fourth. And we're using that in here. You see it. So let's see what we got going on. They say it's in the key of G major. I would prefer not to be talking about keys yet until they get to the scales, but we'll see. I don't know how this book is doing this yet. I haven't looked ahead. I'm too lazy for that. But I'm not going to talk about the key of G major just yet. Look it over. It's about a page and a half long. Treble bass clef, three, four times signature. Uh, bunch of quarter notes, half notes, dotted half notes. No eighth notes in here. Okay. Right hand first. Let's see what's going on. Third finger, we're in G position here. And I don't think we're moving around here, so you don't need any other finger numbers. You're fine. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hopefully you can figure this one out. It's not too tricky. If not, you might want to go back and review everything again. You're going too fast. Left hand, we have the G chord. Try and get them down at the same time. Just lowering the whole hand down gently. And then the third, third measure is a G sus4 chord. Here. And then measure five. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's tied, so we hold that down for five counts. Okay. Go over to measure 16. Left hand's melody. Let's put the hands together and see what happens. Well, at the beginning, it's here. Make sure the left hand comes up for the rest. Together, and then here, and then here. Left hand's tied. The A's by itself, you go. Okay. You put the hands together, and then go back over it carefully. As slowly as you need to, get rid of all the hesitations. Steady beat. Because you're not moving around, you should be able to play this one without looking at the keyboard, too, eventually. And then I think about the articulation, and this is pretty smooth here. I have a trouble, the way this arrangement is written, of, of feeling these phrases. I, it, to me, it should be like every two measures. Or maybe every four measures. I have a problem in feeling this one. In that case, I'm just going to connect it all the way through. You would think that, and like in the second measure, it sounds like that third beat is a pickup to the next one. Ba -da -da, ba -da. It isn't. It's the end of the phrase. The, each, each phrase starts at the first beat of the measure. And that's the way this is written. It just feels weird to me to do that, so I just connect it. That's interpretation. It's how do you feel it? Do it however your teacher tells you to. So basically, I'm going to connect all this together. Then the dynamics that goes through the melody. Uh, MP is mezzo piano. This needs to be very soft in the background. The hairpin there on measure eight. 
do. It's like shaping a phrase or shaping a sentence. A lot of times we'll come down at the end. Ba -da. That's all I do. I mean, you can do that on all of these if you want to come down. That's all that a hairpin is. Just make sure it's a little lower and then back up to moderately soft again for major nine. And major 17, now moderately loud. Pick them up to uh, sort of loud. Until major 25, you're back down where you were. You see above the staves, they put in the chord names again. You have the G and the G sus4. You're going to see a lot more of these chord names. As I said, this is like if there's a guitar player around, they can read the chord names and improvise on the chords, and you could do duets. I don't know how well it would work here, but it might work. You could try it. Speed Andante, a leisure pace. You think one, two, that's not a laser pace. Well, it's the feel of the piece. And that's what we're after here. at the last couple measures, slow down, one, two, three, one, two, whatever. There is one gotcha here you gotta look out for. A gotcha is a thing that'll get you if you're not look. Mm. Look, uh, measure 21, the melody is, you're moderately loud here. And then when you get to measure 25, you come down to soft, because the melody goes to the right hand. And that's moderately soft. Can you go here? Soft. All of a sudden, you may have to practice that. It's, it, it, changing dynamics all of a sudden like that is another challenge we have to deal with in piano playing. And then there's a question at the bottom of the page on 101. How many beats does a whole rest receive? Remember the whole rest, it gets double duty. It can be the same as a whole note. Whole notes are not legal in 3-4 time, can't have them. But it can also just be a whole measure. So you see whole rest throughout here. And that, that's the whole measure, so it would get three counts, because that's how many beats are in a measure. Let's play this together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. This is after you can play it, no hesitations. Just real slow though. I'll give us four counts. Now I'm not going to do the louds and softs, I'm just playing the notes. One, ready, go. One, two. There's a duet at the bottom of the page, I'd like to play that. And you play what you just played and we'll speed it up a little bit. 
And I need you to go up an octave again like we've been doing. So just pretend middle C instead of here is up here. So instead of here, you're up here. And all up here. I'll give us three counts. Now the duet has a lot of held out notes. And I need to keep a beat. So I'm going to play quarter notes throughout. I'll make something up so we can stay together. So we're going to go about here. One, two, three. One, two, three. So make sure you can play it that fast before you try this or this won't work. One, ready, go. One, two, three. 